Hello and welcome to another bad comic review. This time we're looking at Oblivion Song Issue 1. This is from Image Comics and written and created by Robert Kirkman with art by Lorenzo Di Felici. Colors by Annalisa Leone. Russ Wooten was letterer and the editor was Sean Mankiewicz with associate editor Ariel Basich. Now we start out with some monsters chasing a couple and a guy pops up and zaps them and they get teleported somewhere. Well, his teleportation trip home doesn't quite work so he has to zap himself and they all pop up in the desert somewhere outside of a major city. Now apparently what's happened is he used to work for some kind of research team that was investigating an incident and the incident was a city of some mid-size from the look of it got teleported into a different dimension and his job was to go and recover people from this dimension. Now the funding got cut so he's kind of a one-man operation and in this he tries to get some more funding and they tell him no well it turns out his brother is trapped over there and that's why most people seem to think that he's going over there he even gets in his in a fight with his frumpy girlfriend but that's okay he's pretty he's pretty ugly so the lead singer of uh, UB40 decides that he has to go out there on his own he has to go out and try and make some red red wine by recovering people or identifying corpses and the issue ends on a cliffhanger where some other people see him and they're obviously residents that may be infected apparently this happened about 10 years ago from what i can tell so it's a pretty interesting story it's a good first issue uh robert kirkman's a pretty decent writer when he wants to be the walking dead has really not been good for the last five years or so so this one actually shows a little bit of passion the art i did not care for the scenery looks good but people look really really troglodyte -ish. um i don't know if troglodyte -ish is a word but it is now and yeah so everybody looks like their face is some sort of like skin mask made by Ed Gein but the buildings look really cool backgrounds look pretty cool and it does have a certain dynamic flair to it like obviously the artist is capable of doing different emotions and things like that but yeah overall it is a fun issue it was worth the four bucks I take issue with some of what Image is doing from a um, public relations standpoint but this issue is good it's worth reading and I'm gonna check out issue two which should be up tomorrow I've got it I just haven't read it yet so hopefully i'll get that one done tonight and have it posted either real late tonight or early tomorrow but that'll do it for this one it's a recommend uh hopefully it continues to be good it could go either way at this point but it, so far it's pretty good and that'll do it for this episode as always thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel be sure to hit like share and subscribe and we hope to see you on the next one